Have you always considered yourself an introvert, but found that you don't really fit into that description? Perhaps you don't mind being around people or even enjoy mingling and going to events, but also don't relate that much to an extrovert. Apart from being an introvert and an extrovert, you could be a shy extrovert. Curious to know what this means? Here are eight signs you're not an introvert, but a shy extrovert. Number one, you have no problems connecting with people. Is it easy for you to get along with others? Sure, approaching them can be quite daunting, but once you've engaged them in a conversation, do you find yourself naturally going with the flow of things? This is a sign that you're not an introvert, but rather a sensitive or shy extrovert. You may not be as boisterous and flamboyant as others, but as a shy extrovert, you may find yourself getting comfortable and into the scheme of things once the initial hurdle is overcome. Number two, you don't turn down invitations to hang out. Are you always present in group gatherings? Let's say your friend calls you for a spontaneous cafe hangout session. Are you immediately outside the door? Introverts often prefer having a lot of time on their own to recharge because they genuinely enjoy their own company. Extroverts, by comparison, like going out, socializing, and having fun. For them, life is all about being with people. So if you really enjoy going to public events but don't know how to go without having someone invite you to it, you're most likely a shy introvert. Number three, you're not that bothered when the conversation gets silent. Do you welcome pauses in conversations? With conversations, Introverts may often find themselves running out of things to say and struggling to keep the energy going. Extroverts, on the other hand, will talk animatedly without stopping. They tend to find stretches of silence to be uncomfortable as it makes them feel like the vibe is dying down. So in these moments, you may find them switching topics and talking even more to compensate. In comparison, shy extroverts tend to appreciate conversations that have pauses in between. This gives them time to think sort out their ideas and identify how to say them in the best way possible. Number four, you dislike talking to a large crowd. Do you get stage fright or jitters right before performances or speeches of any kind? You may think that this is a sure sign that you're not an extrovert, but in actuality, even extroverts get jittery during public events. It's perfectly normal. It might just mean that you care about how you appear to others and that you want them to like what you're doing while some extroverts are naturals on stage, shy extroverts tend to be more uncomfortable with it. You may prefer speaking to people on a one-on-one -on -one basis where there's not as much pressure involved instead. Number five, you don't mind some attention. How do you handle being in the spotlight? Introverts often get uncomfortable when faced with a lot of attention, while extroverts usually flourish in it. So if you occasionally enjoy being at the center of attention and being around groups of people, then you're probably a shy extrovert. You won't hog to be the main attraction, but it doesn't hurt and it can feel nice from time to time. Number six, you choose your friends. Since full extroverts socialize a lot, they tend to make a lot of connections and acquaintances, though they may not be particularly close with any of them. On the other hand, introverts will often have a tight-knit group of friends that they hang out with exclusively. And since social interactions can be exhausting for them, they won't go out of their way to meet new people. So if you find yourself in the middle of these two, where you're open to meeting new people and forming deep connections, but want to take it slow, then it's likely you're a shy extrovert. Number seven, you communicate with others regularly. Are there people you chat with every day? Perhaps you get sad when days pass without hearing from your friends. Introverts like to have a lot of alone time. It's their moment to do their own thing and relax without other people's eyes weighing on their back. For this reason, they may disappear for inconsistent periods of time. But as a shy extrovert, you may notice that although you enjoy your own company, you also prioritize being able to talk to your favorite people regularly. And number eight, you crave to be liked by others more than the average introvert. Do you care a lot about what others think of you? Is it important for you to build a great first impression Wanting to be liked by the general majority may be another sign that you're a shy extrovert. This doesn't mean that introverts don't care about other people's opinions of them. Instead, introverts are usually content with their small circle of friends and won't give much thought to those outside of that circle. 
So if you find that you tend to care a lot about what everyone thinks and tend to go out of your way to get their approval, then you may be a shy extrovert. Do you think you're a shy extrovert? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.